Hey everyone, it's Jeannie and today I'm back to share this card featuring Penguin Palace Stamps new release. I am starting off with the Diamond Geo Stencil with the Stencil 360 which is this large stencil that allows you to create pretty large stenciling patterns on a piece of paper and I could have trimmed this down to a 6x6 piece of paper but I decided just to use the whole panel so I can decide which portion of the stenciled area I want to use for my card. So I'm going to go in with this stencil and again it's called the diamond geo stencil i'll ink it up and then i will rotate it i believe it is 30 degrees 30 or 45 i can't really remember but you can follow the pattern on the top and it shows you where to rotate it and honestly you can rotate it wherever you would like because you'll be able to create a repeating pattern anyway so i decided to alternate my colors between peacock feathers and picked raspberries i really like how the colors kind of mix and sort of create dark purple that way i have two sets of the picked raspberries and two sets of the peacock feathers and I think it's really pretty it creates like the star pattern which I liked and of course you can rotate it a little bit to get more of those points but I decided to leave it as is for the stamping itself it is life is a carnival and this is so cute because it has so many different images that's perfect for a scene card which I plan to do soon with this stamp set it's perfect for the summer especially since the county fairs are opening and it is just adorable with all the little images the little booths but I opted only to use two of the images which is the girl with the balloon and the signs for like where to go so I'm going to be coloring this up with Copic markers and because of the combination of peacock feathers and picked raspberry being a little bit purple, I kind of just gravitated to using purple for the rest of the card as well as my coloring. So I will be coloring her in with Copic markers and these images are rather small so if you don't want to use three Copic markers for your images you can just use two and that'll be perfectly fine. I really like the extra dimension that it creates and it's very subtle. I think that if you compared an image that was colored with two markers and uh, image that was colored with three markers. It's a very minimal difference, but to me, since I've been coloring for so long, I kind of see it and I just prefer the look of three markers. As always, I go in with the darkest shade to mark out the shadows, go blend it out with the middle shade, and then color in the rest with the lightest shade. For the hair, I did do a purple undertone. I think it just makes it look a a little bit better so her hair doesn't look super gray. It's a very subtle thing to add but I usually do it. So like I said I went with purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. First is pink and then I like purple but I just think it's really pretty so I really was happy to go with this and I am just coloring it up. I have been thinking about going to the county fairs around my area and I've also gone to the state fair in Sacramento. I just haven't done it in a really long time and also Sacramento is really hot in the summertime so I'm not as inclined to do that. Although our weather has been a little funky. It's been super gloomy and I don't know what's going on but it's weird. June gloom is a real thing this year and I'm actually planning to go down to SoCal 4th of July weekend to go to Disneyland so I'm really excited because I haven't been since before the pandemic started. I'm pretty excited about that and we'll be spending a full day at Disneyland and I want to eat all the food and it's kind of the same as going to the carnival. You have rides and food and it'll be just so much fun. Because I haven't been, if you guys have any recommendations for Disneyland, please leave them down below for especially food options. I'm so excited to go and I Honestly, I'm really excited for the spicy pickle and I know I can get pickles anywhere But I just really want when on a hot day while you're at Disneyland So once I finish coloring up the images, I go ahead and pull out the coordinating dies And I will cut out the sentiment that I picked out which is let the good times roll I think that's so cute I will be die cutting out the girl and the sign as well and I will put this whole card together so whenever you have one of these stenciled backgrounds, it kind of gets a bit busy. And as a result of that, I do end up using a portion of it just so we can really not distract from the images itself. So it took me a bit of time to really contemplate what I wanted to do with this, but I knew that I wanted to pull in purple. 
So I have a ton of paper scraps and I went through it and I found this dark purple paper scrap, which was perfect. I had already trimmed down my panel to include the entire stencil and I decided to go in with a little bit of purple ink on the corners just to pull everything together, kind of incorporate a little bit more purple on the card panel but just at the corners of the edges and then I will be using the solid piece of cardstock that I cut out using it on one side. So this is a template that I kind of use pretty often where I'll use a solid piece of cardstock in front of like a stenciled background or like pattern paper just to really like bring focus to the image that you want to use without being distracted by the background of it. So because it kind of takes away from the full stenciled effect, you're able to focus on the little girl that's standing out. And I just used two images for this. So this is a pretty simple card. And once I have the placement of everything in a place that I would like, I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. Then I will be done with the card. It's a very relatively simple card. This features the new release from Penguin Palace. If you haven't heard of them, please check them out. They have such cute things. And the Stencil 360 is a really cool tool. She comes out with all these stencils that create these fabulous patterns. Usually you can ink up a full piece of paper, trim it down however you like, and make multiple cards. I also have other videos using her stencils and making multiple cards on my channel as well. If I remember, I'll link those down below in case you're interested. And and I'll have all the links to the supplies as well down below in case you're interested. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye!